So here we are, we're going to sort of the centre, Battle of Wachau. French have uh, leapt forward here, aggressively, looking to take the fight to the Allies. French young guard moving into action over in the background. Let's come to them. There's some of our uh, original Peter Gilder figures. The guard lights, they're all pinned. Very nice stuff there. And some of the uh, original connoisseur grenadiers of Cheval, which are um, produced by Bicorn Miniatures now. So, again, nice little figures. You see another young guard division in the background there moving up. The French Heavy Cavalry Corps. In the background. So the white rings denote casualties for cavalry, skirmishers, and artillery. Saves on the uh, paperwork. The only thing that goes on the roster sheet is the infantry. <coughs> We just had an incident here where two squadrons of Austrian Uhlans charged into a deploying young guard battalion going into line. They managed to get a short range volley into them, took them down to 75%. The plucky Austrians kept going. Uh, they broke through the, the line but balked at the column that was just sitting behind it. So they're. Uh, they're legging it now, but they have seen off one of the battalions of Young Guard. The Young Guard occupying this building here. The Heavy Cavalry Corps. The blinds denote uh, troops that haven't been seen by the enemy just yet and they're removed after, at the end of movement, so the end of the turn really, they, everything gets converted back to figures and um, in reality that means that all those tiles first thing this morning when the guys get here will all be converted to figures. Regiment of Lion Lancers moving up, supporting their Polish colleagues. And the Austrians are redeploying here initially to hold off the uh, French onslaught, awaiting their reserves to arrive. There's some nice stuff from uh, my friend Alex. Richard, it's a fine little collection he has here. He was very unlucky on turn two or three. He lost a gun and two crew to the fire from the French 12 pounders. Um, very disappointing for the poor chap. But they have brought himself some nice little limbers along, which I must admit I do really like. And these are the Perry ones. The uh, gun crews are uh, elite miniatures though, so yeah, very nice. This is Klanau's core. It's putting in the assault to this village here. Which is Wachau. That's one of the guard tiles that's been deployed to support the attack. And these are from the collection of Duncan Forest. Uh, he's, he just recently bought them from uh, 
a really good friend of mine, Steve Scott. Steve hasn't got down here for quite a while. They are um, heavily converted elite miniatures. Dave Doherty's done all the solder work and the painting. This is an excellent job by Dave. Uh, AKA one man and his brushes. So some fine work there, Dave. Absolutely tip top. And this was a little fellow, oh, this is Lapis, the famous battle where he turns around and, um, or painting, should I say, of the battle uh, a while later, where he turns around and tells the men to keep their heads up. Those aren't turds, they're firing at us. Um, his son was sat behind him, the trumpeter. Uh, so this man had ball to steal, you might say. I'm not sure his son might have agreed. <laughs> Having to keep his head up. Mind you, if his dad's doing it, then you know, why wouldn't he do it? I don't know what happened to his son, by the way. So lots of Russians here still on tiles. The player here's playing a little bit coy with his deployment, so as soon as they start becoming visible, the French might change their tune about uh, galloping forward like this. There are more French reserves. Uh, this is the southern side of Leipzig day one. So obviously, you know, at the same time as this, we've got the battles of Mocha and raging uh, with the Prussians and Russians in the north of Leipzig um, so I'm managing reserves from a point that they're coming through the city which is over, uh, just at the back of that three foot table um, and whether they're available to come in and support the attack on this side of the city it's a three day game so midday I beg your pardon three day game the middle day um, will be about sitting back, licking wounds, replenishing or recovering anything that's lightly wounded or um, missing, and then um, redressing the line. So cores will be able to move around on the board and swap positions during that day. Not too far though. Three feet for infantry and six for cavalry. All the corps maintain cohesion, so the cavalry that's designated as support for an infantry corps or within an infantry corps will stay with the infantry corps, whereas the cavalry corps, as defined, will be able to move six feet. So more later on. Um, I'll do some more videos and then um, post them up onto the blog or to, or to the YouTube blog. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.